Minecraft mods are one of the best ways to take Minecraft to the next level. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install mods for Minecraft 1.19.4. Now, one thing I do want to mention here is that we are assuming you already have Forge. I know this is 1.19.3 here. By the time you're watching this video, it will have been updated to the newest version. Now, with that being said, why are we assuming you have Forge? Well, because Forge kind of needs its own tutorial. There's some specific issues you can have with Forge, some questions and things like that. So we wanted to create a dedicated video for getting Forge. Luckily, in the description down below, we have a link to this video and article. So the video up at the top can help you out. Just click play and you'll be able to watch it in video format. But some of you like text format and that's where this text tutorial comes in. It is by far the most in-depth guide for getting Forge in Minecraft and uh, it goes through everything step by step, covers it all. It even has a section on installing Forge mods. So go through this article if you do have any issues or don't have Forge already installed. Pause the video, go through this, and then you'll be good to go. However, if you've already got Forge, let's go ahead and get some mods. First off, let's talk about Journey Map. Now, we're going to be specifically looking at two mods plus a compatibility mod in this video. But this video will work for any 1.19.4 Forge mods. So that's going to be things like just enough items. That's going to be things like other minimap mobs. Like Zero's minimap is another minimap mod that is worth checking out. Even Chisel Reloaded, for example, is another mod that this would work for. So any Forge mods for 1.19.4, this will work. Nevertheless, in the description, we have three linked. We have Journey Map, Cooking for Blockheads, and Bomb. Journey Map will actually take you to an in-depth guide for just a Journey Map. And once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Journey Map button to go to the Journey Map download page. On this page, what we want to do is actually go to Files. Now, the reason we're doing that instead of going to, we used to use a different download method. The reason we're going to Files is because, unfortunately, there's a new beta now for Curse Forge. We'll show you what that looks like with the next mod, but go to Files here. And then we want to scroll down. And what we want to do is find the 1.19.4 version. Right here it is. And then we want to make sure it's for Forge. There's two ways to do that. One, you can hover over the plus here. And as you can see, it says Forge. We can also come to the left-hand side and see that there is Forge in the title. So then come over here and click on the Download File button, and the file will begin downloading after a few seconds. So with Journey Map downloaded, and by the way, you may need to keep or save Journey Map depending on your browser, and you can double check again that this is for 1.19.4-Forge, and it is, so as long as Forge is in the title, we're good there. And now let's take a look at Cooking for Blockheads on the new Curse Forge. Now again, we want to go to Files here, and then once we're in Files, we want to find the 1.19.4 version, right there it is, we want to make sure it's Forge. We can also come over here and hover over this to again see Cooking for Blockheads, Forge 1.19.4. So this is the version we want. Now, as you can see, there's nowhere to click download on this. What we have to do is click on the three dots on the right-hand side and then click on download file. Now that file will download. Now there's one more thing we need to download and that is bomb. Now we're going to go ahead and use the old Curse Forge for this because this process is the same for the new Curse Forge if you have that. But once you're here, why do we need bomb? Well, it's a compatibility mod. So that means it is required for cooking for blockheads to work, right? Cooking for blockheads is not going to work if we go back to the description here unless we have bomb. As you can see, it requires the bomb mod. So we want to come here and download it. Click on files. And then again, we want to find the 1.19.4 Forge version. So right here it is. Let's see. 1.19.4 Forge right there. See, it's sometimes not the one at the top. So you got to kind of look for it. And right here it is. Come over and click the download file button. So now with all of these downloaded, we can get them installed. Now, I'm assuming you already have Forge installed. And if that's the case, we want to go ahead and open Minecraft with your Forge installation. If you don't, just pause the video, go check out our Forge guide, come back, and you'll be good to go. But with the Minecraft launcher open, we can easily see Forge 1.19.4. There it is. Click on play and then go ahead and click on play again. Now Minecraft is going to open up with Forge and we can get our mods installed. While it's doing that though, where are they? Well, they're in your downloads folder. So let's go there and grab them. You can click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen or bottom server screen on Windows 11, and then type in downloads. We have File Explorer here. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And then on the left hand side, we want to scroll down to this PC. And then finally, we want to click on the downloads folder here are all of our mods. This is a good time to double check that they are for Forge and 1.19.4. So as you can see, Bomb, Forge 1.19.4, Cooking for Blockheads, Forge 1.19.4, Journey Map 1.19.4, Forge. Awesome. These will all work. Now we can drag all of these to our desktop. Now, once these are on our desktop, it's pretty easy to install them. Just come here into the Minecraft main menu with Forge open up, right? This is our Forge installation. Click on Mods and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that was from the Minecraft main menu. Click on Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. And we want to take and drag and drop any Forge mods we want to install right here into this Mods folder. It's that simple. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, 
it's not here, right? And the mods aren't going to be here until we close out of Minecraft and then reopen it with Forge. While we're doing that and reopening Minecraft with Forge, how do we ask our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. If you want to add mods to your server, you can do so super simply at Apex, and you can even one-click install over 200 mod packs at Apex Minecraft Hosting. Lastly, they have 24-hour, 7-day-a-week support, so should you have any issues, they are there to help you, no matter what time it is, day or night. That's why we use Apex for every single Minecraft server we have. So not only do we recommend them, we love them, we trust them, and use them ourselves. So check out Apex, the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. But now we can see that Minecraft is in fact up and running. And if we go into mods, here are our mods. Journey map, cooking for blockheads, and bomb. We can also jump into a game real fast just to check these out. I'm doing a new world because it's just easier for me to do it that way. You don't necessarily have to, but I would recommend backing up any worlds before you use mods in them. You can do that, by the way, by clicking on them clicking on edit, and then clicking make backup. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and create a new world for our 1.19.4 Forge mods. I'm going to make it creative because that's easier for me, and we'll see you in game. By the way, that little warning, that's just basically saying, hey, you're using mods, things may break. And unfortunately, they do break quite often with mods, so do keep that in mind. Now, here we are in Minecraft where we can actually see right away Journey Map is in the top right as a mini map. We can also, as it says on screen, press J and then click Close to be able to see the full screen map. And you can generate so much as you move around your world to generate more and more and more of these chunks. That's actually a really cool spawn. What is, the, uh, what is the seed here? I know people might be interested in that, so there it is. But nonetheless, there we go. This is now up and running with Journey Map. What about Cooking for Blockheads, though? Well, we can go ahead and hit Escape because we're in Creative. Right there it is, Cooking for Blockheads. Now, some of these uh, may, no, these look like broken blocks, but no, they're working. I was going to say some of them may be broken because 1.19.4 literally just updated. But as we can see here, we have our different recipe books as well as our different kitchen blocks and things like that to get things going. But nevertheless, that is how you can get Forge mods in Minecraft 1.19.4. Should you have any issues with your mods though, we do have a helpful tutorial in the description down below on how to fix broken Minecraft mods. This goes over how to do that in depth and goes over a bunch of different issues. As you can see, someone has uh, helpfully laid that out in the timestamps. We should have done that ourselves, but luckily community came through to help there. But uh, so many different issues, so much stuff is troubleshooted in this. Whether it's mod packs, whether it's you know individual mods that like we just installed, really and truly, it's super helpful no matter what if you have any issues with mods. Not to mention, our Forge tutorial has a lot of troubleshooting in here as well if you do have any issues with your mods. Error code 1, error code 0, those are both usually caused by having incompatible mods. So either not updated to 1.19.4 or not for Forge, right? If you try to install a Fabric mod, that's another mod loader, in Forge, it will throw one of those two errors usually. Nevertheless, though, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check out the video on your screen right now if you're interested in more Minecraft content. YouTube thinks you'll like it, and uh, their algorithm's pretty good, so let's see if they're right. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I am Al. Peace.